Well, hello, I'm Kelsey Kirshner. The community is mourning the loss of a Mervo High School football player. During dismissal on Friday, Baltimore police say Jeremiah Brogdon was in the parking lot when he was shot and killed by a student from a different school. The 17 year old suspect is now facing a first degree murder charge. And WJZ is live in the neighborhood behind campus where the suspect was caught. Christina Mendez is speaking with the victim's family. Christina. Jeremiah's family is remembering him as a devoted older brother and father, a loving son, and also talented football player. I'm told in part in a statement by his family, that family, church family, his team and school, they will all miss him, but will carry on his legacy forever. As a mom, I just feel, I just feel so bad for his parents because... You sent your child to school for education, not to be killed. Not to be killed. Neighbors surrounding Mervo High School sit in shock and sadness after Jeremiah Brogdon, a student, football star, and father to a five month old, was taken by gun violence. Baltimore police say during dismissal on Friday, a student from a different school came to campus, got into an argument with Jeremiah, and took out a gun. Police say the 17 year old suspect shot him several times and tried to get away. And I never in my wildest dreams would have ever imagined something like this. So my heart and my prayers go out to his family. Moments later, school resource officers caught the suspected shooter in the neighborhood behind Mervo. On Saturday, police say he was charged with first degree murder. You want to be able to feel safe when you're at school, when you're, you know, just on your way home and for someone to come and violate that is it's I hate to see that happen. With the first week of school coming to a heartbreaking close, parents want to see change in the memory of a young man who lost his life at 17 years old. We got to do something. This has got to stop. Um, this is not the remedy to solving problems. The suspect will be held in jail without bond. I'm reporting live tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.